It's the most exciting and ambitious phone in smartphone history. Well, that's the story according to LG, anyway, and we're in New York City to witness its debut. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is our first hands-on with the new LG G2. Innovation for the sake of innovation is, according to LG, old school. So the G2 packs some unconventional additions alongside the standard spec bumps we were expecting. Chief among them is a rear-mounted volume rocker and power button. LG says it's more ergonomic, but it's also situated there to give the G2 a sleek, buttonless chassis elsewhere. In usage, it feels pretty good, and it provides the ability to jump into special LG features like quick memo and the more useful self-portrait functionality in the camera. It's easy to see why LG spent so much time on calling out the back button, because it's really one of the only things separating the G2 from its competition in an aesthetic sense. The build is plastic and glossy, very light and very thin, all attributes we've seen elsewhere. But inside is a Snapdragon 800 processor. It's the first smartphone in the world to carry that SoC, which runs at up to 2.3 GHz and contains support for 4G LTE Advanced and improvements in power consumption, which should help the G2 make the most of that 3000 mAh battery. The camera is also pretty impressive on paper. It's a 13 megapixel shooter with optical image stabilization and improved low light performance without requiring the camera bump of other similarly equipped units. The display is a 5.2 inch 1080p IPS panel that uses graphic RAM, which LG says should help it conserve power, and the bezels flanking it are only a tenth of an inch apiece. The G2 also packs a lot of software enhancements, too many to cover in this hands-on, but the most critical are improvements to the UI. You can now double tap to unlock and lock the device. The multitasking approach has been improved with software called Slide Aside, and there's now a special guest mode for added security when sharing your phone. Beyond those conveniences, old touches like Q-Slide and the IR remote control have either been retained or improved. The G2 follows in the footsteps of the G Pro. It's a fast, responsive, lightweight Android device with a ton of software customization. But the G2's real story, beyond the performance of its Snapdragon 800 chip, will lie in the special software features LG has baked in this time around. At first glance, it's looking pretty interesting, and there will likely be a fair bit of buzz surrounding this device when it launches later in the year. This has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. Stay tuned for a lot more on the LG G2 from New York City.